Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. All right, and I am back. I, uh, I took a little break actually from the game, well, a little break, it's actually the next day, so I'm still very much in it. Uh, I decided to go actually to the council itself, because, as I said before, uh, there are a few side quests that I cannot do now, and I think I have to trigger the next main story event to uh, uh, be able to do some of those side quests. Uh, either that or I need to pretty much complete the story quest in this area fully, but um, let's not explore more because it will be a waste of time if I if I explore here now and I know I have to you know go back here again you know after you know the next story fragment to fuck and I can only go to the Presidium. Oh wait, no wait, actually that's correct. That's this. You know, I mean it will be a waste to now explore everything and not do side quests and be forced to visit those places again after I'm able to actually go there. Okay, this little tower. Oh. Fuck. Well, okay. Damn it. You get a conversation if you use the elevator, but well, fuck it then. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Is are his textures that low res? Or did he not get the upgrade? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Wow, I guess he did not get the upgrade. I'm kinda of horrified by their quest. But this is also one of the coolest characters out there, Garrus. Let's see, uh, I actually did not pay attention to what he said. Commander Shepard, Garrus Valkarian. I was in the office, I was the officer in charge of the CSEC. Really? What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. Mm -hmm. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good hey. luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe, even though I think they like Turians more than humans. I remember when I first got here, this area actually pretty much impressed me a lot with how it looked. For some reason, Bioware games never survive the age of time with graphics. Even though I still can play uh, Knights of the Old Republic and still find it pretty. But for example, Jade Empire, which has gorgeous... Uh, buildings designs and stuff like that that the ca characters and stuff did not surpass the uh, age of time let's go to the next level some dude enjoying the view of a tree I wonder if it's like a sakura tree it will be weird though we be weird to have earthly trees here the bolus won't be joining the council for years why is it always muting? Is it because I turned the camera? Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Oh yeah. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? Who are the Hanar? The Hanar you just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. The Hanar are the jellyfish, right? I think I'm correct about that. Oh yeah. I need to talk to that dude. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. 
Looks like he is in trouble. Let's go talk to him. Commander. Oh, or not. See, that he gives you a side quest, but I still cannot do that now because, you know, I have to do the next story, main story thing, so let's first do that. Hope you guys don't mind. I, I will revisit the areas I visited before, but, for example, I won't talk to the robot lady and or the Avina or stuff like that. Don't need that now. The hearing's already started. Come on. All right. Sorry I'm late. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That you just lets you him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. It actually is pretty funny how, you know, with a wide area, with a galaxy, it can turn into a wild, wild west again. Because here on Earth, you know, everything is so secure with cameras and stuff like that. And... If you have a whole galaxy that you know you don't have enough security and stuff to do that anymore so it becomes so wild wild west again okay the one who let the beacon get destroyed how did you get involved huh the mission to eden prime was top secret the only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there with nihilus gone his files passed on to me i read the eden prime report i was unimpressed but what can you expect from a human Are you fucking kidding me? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You motherfucker! You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? No. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Well, sounds the like bad news. The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Poor Odina. Some Halo music going on here. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. Oh, I come on. Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know? Well, actually, the problem is I know that he knows Saren, but... Ah... Uh... Well, okay. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Okay, well, the council won't help. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. 
I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. All right. I'll take I'm care on of it. it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Do you have any other things? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh! The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about... Tell me about the Shadow Broker, hmm? He's gonna be a pretty important character in the whole Mass Effect universe. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. He has no patience. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. You have a deal. You have a point. Side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. All right. Tell me about this loser. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. They abandoned him? I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. All right. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They're black ops. Dun -dun -dun. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. I wonder how many, like, um, how many... Uh, Spectres there are. Are there like 100? I would say 100. 100 maybe. Maybe 20? 20. 20 would be uh, not very effective. <laughs> How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. Yeah, and... What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. And what if one goes too far? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. Oh, fuck. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under 100. Oh, under 100! But the hmm. Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, 
you know something big is about to happen. So let's say more than 50, less than 100. Or they were kind of, you know, estimating that. Let's call it 100. Fuck it. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. All right. I should go. Good should luck, go. Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I'm going to visit that Barla Vaughn dude first. See what he has to tell me. Even though if he wants some information, even if he wants some credits. Huh? What? Hmm? Whoops. Sorry. I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions Bingo. if this place is ever attacked. That guy's up to something. I was looking for you. What? Oh, no, no I wasn't. Never mind. This guy gives you a very important side yes, quest. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Hey, dude, relax. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. I'm not All a specter. Right. Yeah. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Okay, why be suspicious? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let me help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Uh, I'm with I'm the Commander Alliance. Shepard, with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. But why are you doing what this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. And these have actually are one of the... It's it's men it probably people see it as a boring side quest because you have to pretty much scan them and there are a lot. I don't know how many, but pretty much the information they hold is very important to the story. I don't know if it actually adds some into your codex. Commander. God damn it. Here's another one. And I get experience, which is cool. No, I haven't. I think there's one more here somewhere. Uh, might be here. Let's see. Just here. Where are you, little bastard? Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm not. Oh fuck, yeah, level up. I'm actually going to put a point in Intimidate, as I said, so that I can have both choices. Even though, it is not recommended to put points in both, because, um, well, pretty much, Bioware games don't reward you for being kind of in a gray area. I'm not saying I'm neutral. I'm not picking the, the middle option all the time, but sometimes I react angry, sometimes I react, you know... Um, good, so there is a mixture between. And overall, I'm more of a good guy, I think, in real life, so I will put more points into this, but if I have an option and I feel like it, I will, you know, use this. Anyway, let's uh, unlock shotguns. Hell yeah. Incu increase accuracy. So the Ashley... Uh, what will you do? We'll just give you HP so that you can be the tank. Electronics needs to be up, up, up. Pretty much decryption and electronics I want up so that I can hack everything.